Hello, this is Palico Page, and welcome back to another episode of the Curious Expedition 2 Steam Early Access version 1. I guess it's 1, although it's not alpha as such, but it's early access. And we have just completed the official tutorial, and we are cracking on in this episode with a new party leader. Victoria Malin, she's done a bit for us. She's, she's held her hands around the first island and she's now left her subordinates in charge. She's gallivanting around Parry in the World Expo, having a laugh, drinking lots, and we need to choose who we're going to take on that next expedition. We have the big game hunter. Big game hunter, Cornelius Harold is his name. Surprise attack chance of 35% and standing behind donkeys rather awkwardly is his game. Uh, he has a green and red sided die uh, along with a, a pistol which is rather lovely, rather lovely. A rugged trophy hunter, expert in putting down dangerous beasts and other threats in the world. We also have, if we so choose, the anthropologist Etienne Maisonette and they are a scientist of native cultures, creates anthropological studies that generate fame as you learn more about a tribe. They have a green slash blue die and what appears to be a lantern. Uh, now, uh, that immediately doesn't seem as good as a pistol. However, it does, again, have its uses as you go around. However, however, I'm going with the big game hunter because I have played a bit further into this game and attacks uh, are quite frequent. <laughs> so, so it's good to have a, a couple of die handy for that. Uh, so we shall go with Cornelius Harold, the big game hunter. And alas, we Paddy, here we are. After long days of travelling, I had finally arrived in Paris and the under construction grounds of the Exposition Universelle. Hmm. Here I was to find fame and fortune among the great explorer clubs of this noble city. Brimming with optimism, I looked out on the fairgrounds. And there are, well, a few things we can click on here. Uh, they're blacked out at the moment, but we've got these three mysterious icons, which we will go into at a later point. Well, but for now, let's go to the bar. It's where any great exploration starts. I entered the famed La Horde La uh, La La on there. Is that how you say it? La 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 Horde. Yeah, the glass clock and <laughs> surveyed my surroundings. Renowned as a meeting place for would-be explorers, it was a likely place to find eager adventurers to join my trek. Oh, wow. Okay, let's have a look. Who we got? Who we got? I gave word that I was looking for hardy men and women to join my expedition. Soon I had gathered a small set of brave adventurers to choose between. So we have Sir Muller, the hunting dog. Capacity of one, but look at those fierce teeth. And he also finds meat every 20 days. We have Captain Newton Catley, the British soldier. Oh, oh! I, th I thought he was bowing to my magnificence then. Nope, he was cleaning the dust off his boots. Uh, combat buff increased damage when using guns, which is permanent. And, uh, well, he doesn't carry a gun, so never mind. Uh, and he has all red die and uh, capacity of two, so slightly better. And then we have Rorette Desrochet, or Desrochet, the cook. Uh, Santi provided by meat is plus four, although that will get better as she levels up. Uh, but she is a terrible alcoholic. And she has a green and red facing die. Uh, I think for the sake of not taking on anyone who has any negative traits, we should go with Captain Newton Catley, simply because he has higher capacity than the dog. Or else I would choose the dog. So, we could use a tactically minded Briton such as Captain Newton Catley and welcome him so. And uh, as you can see, recruit is now locked off. You can only recruit one per time back in Paddy. The bustle of construction in the fairgrounds hummed around me. And with that, we need to crack on, I'm afraid. We can't access any of these, which is fine. Never mind. So we'll, we shall select the expedition. So the clubs are hiring new explorers. Now is a good time to go into what you're actually looking at when it comes to this screen. You no longer choose where you're going to go in the world you now choose what mission you're going to go on to so we can go and do the golden pyramid which is find a golden pyramid we must tell of a grand pyramid made of solid gold truly it would be glorious to discover such a thing and then we have the missing missionary 
we've lost contact with one of our missionaries investigate and find out why he stopped communicating now there's a few things we need to look at when it comes to these pictures firstly we have a difficulty ratings in between one and three schools and that is right next to the budget that you are allowed to buy items with for that mission so you can no longer carry over money so depending on the, the rating of the mission on difficulty as you can see the budget changes ever so slightly but there are ways later on in the game on upping that budget uh, through the uh, um, the paris screen which again we'll go into at a later point um, the other thing to take into account are the rewards you get so as you can see we have got the rosette which we've already established is the fame for the game but we also have these little tickets these are expo tickets now the way expo tickets work is the fame that you accumulate as you uh you gain more fame you you get up to a certain point and it's not something which is uh put onto the screen so i can't tell you exactly how much fame you need but when you reach a certain point of fame that fame gets created into one expo ticket and these expo tickets you can actually spend around paris on certain things like items and uh, other uh, rewards which again we shall look at hopefully in the future if we survive uh, so uh, for the sake of showing you uh, an easy one uh, let's go and find the golden pyramid it's what we're all familiar with let's crack on with that and now we have to choose a sponsor so brand new to the curious expedition 2 uh, you now get to earn reputation with one of three sponsors we have lux labs which as you can see it looks very Androidy. We have the Royal Avalon Society, who is uh, very prim and proper, and we have the Taishi or Taishi Academy. Again, very Zen-like. Um, now I have again. I've, I've gone into uh, a little bit further into the game than just just this tutorial. I have leveled up uh, the Lux Labs before, uh, uh, but to uh, I think it was level five or six just to see what's going on and I can tell you that these aren't exclusive you can mix and match if you want to so uh, you can take um, certain advantages of one up to a certain point then start another uh, but that will only come in time when what you are unlocking becomes more apparent and because no one's played through this game yet I can't tell you which is the best one for for what level so it's a case of just playing through go with how you feel see what happens I would suggest initially committing to one and just opening it all up and seeing what it is and then we can you can go from there really uh because i've played through lux labs and this is sort of a powder playthrough for me i'm going to go with the taishi 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 i like taishi the taishi academy so anything we find fame wise which we bring back with us or for completing this expedition we do get some reputation with them map the islands you're currently pledged to the taishi academy's challenge working for another club will not increase your progress here are you sure yes that's something else we'll go into at a later point i decided to indulge in a few drinks the night before the expedition was to depart this is something which happens every time you start an expedition the evening before we were to, de to depart i spent a pleasant evening with the trek some in my party were already notab noticeably feeling the effects of imbibing oh dear now Yogo clapped me on the shoulder, declaiming that I was a fine, fine fellow. She suggested that surely I would be happy to stand the crew drinks for the evening. I hesitated. Every franc in our budget could be vital in the days ahead. Could I spare the money on such a luxury? So, for the sake of putting up the loyalty of our Trek members, I can buy around. However, that will take away the money we have available to us for the expedition. But who am I to stop a good time? Let's do it. Now, Yogo certainly didn't need more to drink, but I wanted to raise the crew's spirits. She thanked me profusely, raising a glass to my health. So we now have increased loyalty, which is, you know, good. We had a rollicking good time that night, and though now Yogo looked a bit green around the gills the next morning, everyone's spirits were high as we departed. And off we go. Moving two tiles of an unknown location to reveal it. Lovely. My ship arrived, encountering a small supply vessel. The Taishi Academy had provided me with a modest budget to outfit my trek. So, whenever you start an expedition now, you are 
meeting up initially with a supply barge and this is where you get to spend the money which has been accommodated for this particular mission for you so let's go to the equipment so as you can see there's quite a bit to choose from and i will say right now as you open up unlocks with the certain different factions you do get extra items you can buy here uh, the other curious thing to note at this point is quite randomly whenever you go to anywhere where you can buy or trade for items there will be certain items possibly which will have the sale icon on them and if that's the case generally they are about half price so as you can see we have a first aid kit which i know for a certain is usually 12 francs and now it is only six so that is all good in the hood however the one thing which i've noticed that is definitely something you need to keep on top of in the early checks is your sanity so with that being said i have 70 uh, uh, francs so i'm going to buy six 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 enough i think six is enough torches are expensive torches are expensive and these are the three vials the different vials you can buy but again they're too expensive at the moment um oh what's more important first aid or torches torches uh, again because i know of uh i know better uh, torches can actually be used in combat as well so let's buy a torch do i want two torches do i want to two torches hmm. you know what i don't just the one torch and two first aid i think that's the way to play it now as you can see i spent all my money the reason i spent all my money or got as close as damn it to spending all my money if you can't get it directly on like i just did is that money does not carry over whatever money you are accommodated for for that particular expedition is all you get so again don't hold back buying stuff if you think oh well i don't need this i don't need that spend all your money spend all your money grab as much as you can because if you're not going to use it on the trek for yourself it it accumulates to tradable items to the traders and natives in the game so spend all your money damn it don't hold back don't be a tight ass spend your money can't say any more than that let's get some water i made sure to bring additional water rations from our vessel stocks again they only stack in five uh, but it is a physical thing you need to carry again just something else to keep in mind and uh, well let's begin the expedition shall we ancient legends told of a great golden temple on the island that loomed ahead a massive ancient thing and made of pure gold I was to find this legendary structure adding to the already substantial honor of the Taishi Academy. Nice. So we need to enter the Golden Pyramid. Now, because we have set difficulties when choosing a mission initially, there is no having to find the pyramid and get back now. So it's a case of once you're there and you find it, you've completed that mission. So it's good to try and like i used to do on, on certain difficulty I, I like to try and create a loop around the island in order to be able to gather as, as much uh, resources as i could to get back to the ship with no point doing that now so if, if you're um if you come across anything which you want to hit it's worth hitting as soon as you see it uh, the other thing to notice here is we have animal tracks now this isn't necessarily something which is bad it is not a nasty uh tiger or hyena or bear or moose or anything like that well it could be a moose uh, these are things which you can actually hunt down so let's go and have a look see shall we so we get so close and we can stalk an albino stag far in the distance i saw the snowy white beast pose magnificently I would need all my skills as a hunter to bring down this elusive creature. So we will take a, uh, a standing hit if we were to hunt it. However, uh, there is a, a good, good chance we're going to do it. So let's give it a whirl, shall we? Ah, oh, three times over. Thrice dead, that albino stag. It took great care and patience, but after a long day, I managed to wing the rare beast. It immediately darted away, but was now weakened and ready for the kill. So that is something which we will have to try and hunt down at a later point if we come across it. Um, our reputation has taken a little bit of a hit. That's all right, though. No, nothing to worry about there for the time being. Oh, we've come across a dilapidated shack. This is something new. I will go into it, but we will not be using it. I encountered a worn, poorly constructed hut in the middle of the wilderness. A desperate looking man peered out at me, his pale, emaciated form sparking pity. 
the man entreated me pitifully. He had thought to find riches in this land, but now was trapped and desperate. Any help I could give would be a godsend. So this is a guy who you can give a donation to of your uh, supplies, a small, medium or large donation. If you were able to get this to uh, neutral, uh, then you would get a certain amount of sanity back. But because we are right next to the uh, the ship, obviously that is something which isn't needed as of yet so we shall leave it we shall leave it um let's uh let's pop ourselves up on this hill in particular because we'll be able to have a look down here to see if there's anything around and also across as well so we're clear down there that's good uh these are the tar picks i was talking about uh they're a little bit uh more difficult uh to uh, maneuver around uh, if you were to step in it you actually have a sanity gain on all movement so it's good to try and avoid those if at all possible uh with that being said i think we shall do that to 40. let's try that so we're going over two hills which isn't the best thing for our sanity it's our pitch right on stop stop don't use up all your sanity uh right so uh, we've got a question mark down here we have some natives here i don't think they're too annoyed with us right now so we'll go and see the natives first i think they're heading in our direction anyway so let's go to there yes let's approach we encountered a well-armed group of natives gesturing aggressively with clubs and spears they demanded we pay tribute for our trespass uh, so we can boldly refuse or uh, we can persuade them to let us go 17 percent probably won't be able to do that so let's boldly refuse no no we shall not thrice again thrice again i stood my ground refusing their demands after a tense moment of locked eyes the leader of the group nodded curtly they seemed to respect my show of will in this matter good thing too those are quite gnarly spiked clubs wouldn't want to mess with those I eyed the warlike natives warily and pondered what action to take before continuing my journey. So, at this point, uh, we've got three options once again. We can ask about the tribe, which will give us a plus one standing, uh, which is obviously quite handy. Uh, we can ask about the village, which will show us where they are on the map, which again can be quite handy if you are aiming for the village. Uh, or we can give them a gift, uh, which will uh, give us quite a lot of standing. However, we are going to have to sacrifice something. The fact we haven't come across anything as of yet, I'm not going to bother about this. This is just a three plus one on their standing, so I think we'll do that. If we find the village, great. If we don't, never mind. I wanted to know more about the culture of these people. Delicately, I inquired about the nature of their traditions and customs. And we get a plus one standing for it. Pounding a spear against the ground, the man before me told me of his proud warrior heritage. Trained for battle from an early age, these people were a strong and proud folk. Bye-bye. The tribes were all ready to move on. Uh, they marched away with weapons held high, singing a song of war as they went. What is it good for? And, uh, well, that was that. Uh, let's go down to the bottom here. Uh, gives me the opportunity to show you something else new in this game. Oh, lordy. As we approached some strange-looking holes in the ground, we were astounded when gigantic carnivorous plants suddenly sprang from within. Oh dear. We managed to stay out of their clutches, but we would do well to stay observant and avoid these plants in the future. So we now have carnivorous plants to deal with on the map. Uh, these initially, as you stand on these holes, won't do you any harm whatsoever. However, if you were to pass over them once they are out, then you will take minus five health per Trek member. Just something to keep in mind. Uh, we will move forward. We... Ugh. We can just about pull this off. Uh, let's eat a bit of chocolate. So move forward one. Uh, we can attack an elephant. Do we want to attack an elephant? Probably not. Let's go to the graveyard. This foreboding place was situated in the midst of a swamp littered with the remains of long dead elephants. Hundreds of the impressive animals had come here to die. Let's have a look. Oh, it's a elephant tusk. Formidable and well-deserved. Well preserved, even. Well, it is well deserved too. Uh, <laughs> so that's got a uh, 30 franc trade, 
or 20 fame if we were to take it home. As I took the tusk, I remembered a lesson I had learned long ago. Elephants have a keen sense of smell and a perfect memory. I would do well to avoid the beasts in the future. Oh, no. Well, it looks like we're going to have to attack an elephant. You'd have thought, seeing as all I did was pick up a little bit of a bone, the elephant wouldn't be that upset, but apparently that's not the case. Uh, we're going to have to attack the elephant because if we are... In fact, he's not attention ta chance 100. Yeah, we're going to have to attack him. Uh, get the surprise, hopefully, on him. 80! Oh, lordy. Okay. We might have our first death on our hands here. Uh, let's roll. Oh, this isn't good. Um, do I want to burn? Burn! See, the problem with the torch, if I was to throw it in, is it will be a burning of five, but it's only for one go. And I think upping it to nine isn't worth it, even now. Uh, so, 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 so. Uh, let's use let's use this green die. So it's a flank. So not only does it give a shield damage if well the yeah, elephant has a shield, it does make it more vulnerable, which means that um, it will take more damage with whatever die we use here on in. So uh, let's choose that. Oh, we're, we're so dead. We are so dead. Uh, so let's uh, let's haymaker him. Next action. I mean, look at that. Look at that damage, 25. That's going to almost kill us outright, isn't it? Uh. <laughs> Sit down! Uh, oh, we do have a chance of stunning it, though. 25%. Come on, we need the stun. <laughs> you didn't stun, donkey! You didn't stun! Roll. Ooh, what be you? Tally-ho! Damage of 4 and the vulnerable. So, from having 80 health, we've knocked off 25. That's pretty admirable. However, yeah, and not the donkey! Alright, here we go. What we got? So, uh, cutting blow, shield damage again, not too handy. Um, quick shot. We just have to go for it, aren't we? Donkey kick. Let's go for the stun. Come on. Come on with the stun. No stun. All right. Okay. So, uh, well, in, um, do you want to hit that? No, I don't want to hit that. Um, I'm going to, right, I'm going to re-roll. I'm going to re-roll that one and... Target hostile with damage. We'll try re-rolling that as well. 50% chance of getting nothing. We'll do it. We'll do it. Bugger. Alright. Well, never mind. Go on, donkey. 36. I mean, if, if we could survive this round, there's a possibility. Ow. Ow. Wow. Okay. Alright. Okay. Fine. Fine. It can't be that bad again, surely. It's not far off. Right. Okay. So. Uh, gunning blow. Let's do a quick shot. Come on for the stun. Come on for the stun. Oh, thank the Lord. Right, what we got stunned? I'm not sure, but, well, one of us isn't going to take 25 health which is, uh, off, which is good. Oh, just 20, okay. All right, so 13. We've got this, although we have lost our scout. Um, oh, we might not have this. We need, we need the roll. We need the roll, so we want three. So, the leader has to really step up here. Hey! Tally-ho. Down it goes. Go to sleep. Looks like it's sleeping. Uh, we deprive the dead of anything useful. Oh, that was close. All right, so meat and more tusks. Let's take it all. Glad I bought 
the health kits. All right, so we went to camp to tend to the injured. So, yeah, you need to be healed. Uh, we use the first aid kit to treat the injuries of Nari Yogal. Now, the others will eventually heal up. However, uh, there is a chance, as in like the old game, that someone is going to have an infected wound. So I'm going to hold off not using that for the time being. Uh, sorry, hold off using that by not using it. Uh, let's go and check out the pause. I think this might be our stag. Oh, it's an antelope. Right. I can see the beast on the horizon, its ears twitching suspiciously. Hunting it would take time and entail risk. But could pay off. Let's try it. Hey. I spent more than a day following the beast, taking care to stay upwind and out of sight. My patience was rewarded when I managed to ambush the animal, taking it down cleanly. Look at that. More meat and a little bit of a pelt. Uh, we're not too hated right now, which is... Good, I suppose. Um, what are we on? Ten. What do we need to get to there? Five. I mean, we're going to have to go through the tar pits at this point. Minus five. Let's just eat the one chocolate. Uh, we'll go to below it. So, here we go. Through the tar. And we have covered in tar. The party's covered in the sticky aggravating goop of a recent trip into tar box. Everything costs plus one to move around. Oh, we have some hyenas. 45% chance of surprising them. I mean, stone circles just show us where things are, so we might as well attack the hyenas, I suppose. Two of them. 25. I mean, we're just taking down an elephant of 80 health. I'm sure we can take down two hyenas, he says. Oh, that's actually a very good roll. So... Um, let us do the vulnerability first, and we'll use that on the peroxide blonde hyena. Um, then we'll give him a quick shot. Um, then we'll try fisticuffs. And then we'll give him a whole kick. One. Rubbish. Okay, so... So, so, so. I'm, I'm just going to finish him off, really, don't I? In fact, no. Let's screw that. Let's um, let's throw in the torch. We'll take down that one. And that way, we can use this on the green hyena? Grey hyena? And he got stunned as well. Awesome. Uh, no need to re-roll. We have nothing to roll. And he's down. Right, 15 health. We should be able to do this. So let's throw up another vulnerability onto that one. Uh, let's shoot. Oh, good shot. Oh, we could have put up two vulnerabilities if I saw that. Never mind. We got there. And it's more meat and teeth and fur. And now we can have a look in the circle. I suppose at this point, it'd be good to see the settlement. Although they hate us right now, I think they'll like us when we, they, we see they see what we have to trade. I close my eyes as I touch the cold stone and envis a vision coalesced in my mind. Oh, that, that's quite far away. Okay, in which case, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? Um, we've only got two chocolate. Nineteen out of twenty-three, or we can start moving nearer the village. Which in itself is too far away. I, I think I'm just gonna have to see what this is and hope for the best. Hope it's something which will put our sanity up. Oh, oh, it's the pyramid. In the wilderness, it was nearly impossible to prevent an injury from becoming infected. Missy Gibbs' wound was beginning to look particularly nauseating. Oh, dear. Right, so. At this point, in the old game, I'd be like, right, found that. Let's go and have a look around the rest of the island. However, uh, we have no way of putting our sanity up. 
at all. Uh, we do have um, a little bit of fame coming back with us uh, in the likes of these furs and a bit of ivory. It's not the best, but we're not competing against anybody directly now. Uh, all we're trying to do is accumulate as much fame as we can and getting out of places alive. So I think we just have to call it quits here. And into the pyramid we go. The shining arch shining arch we'll start that all again. The shining structure of the golden pyramid beckoned us to victory. Thank the maker. And then we go. After all this hardship, extraordinary pride overcame me. I knew that the name Cornelius Harold would be respected within a community of intrepid adventurers. Victory indeed. And there we are. Triumph. So as you can see, we've got all our health back. We've got a few expo tickets. Uh, our return provisions and treasures are down here and as you can see the fame is going up and creating an expo ticket it gets put over there and also the rank with the Taishi Academy has gone up and we've unlocked something as well and look everybody's so happy to see us uh, Donkey is having to walk behind but let's face it it's too big for the carriage there's some sort of juxtaposition to having a donkey being given a ride by a horse so uh, that's fine as far as I'm concerned let's continue shall we and like any successful expedition you come back from, you get to choose a perk. We have the war chest. Add three combat items for each island. So we have uh, two combat items. Interesting. Never come across that one before. We have practical botany. Does not trigger needle plants when traveling, which, as you can see, can be useful. And we have climber. Reduce movement costs when crossing hills. Tile costs of minus four sanity. I'm a big fan of getting up on those plateaus. So that is what we shall choose. And here we are, back in the middle of Paris. Uh, I returned triumphantly to Paris after my first successful expedition. Bursting with pride, I look forward to making a name for myself as an explorer. Moreover, I was awarded with a set of extra expo tickets for my efforts. Such generosity. So, we have eight expo tickets to spend as we like. Uh, we also have these different areas to open up now, which we'll go into in the next episode as well as the bar and uh, next time around i will explain what's going on in the bottom right hand corner also but for now thank you for watching as always a like is appreciated and i shall catch you on the next one take it easy